Drexel University professor is facing some criticism from the university he teaches at after he put out a tweet mocking white nationalists in the country who are constantly complaining about how they're victims of a white genocide. So the tweet in question said the following, all I want for Christmas is white genocide. Now, no one actually wants white genocide. In fact, white genocide doesn't exist. And uh, he was trying to make a point about how ridiculous that notion is. And by the way, he's white. So, <laughs> pretty sure he wouldn't want himself to get genocide. Just, yeah. Just throwing that out there. So, um, the people who usually complain about white genocide are individuals like Richard Spencer, who is a white nationalist, right? Uh, he's very, very honest about the fact that he hates minorities uh, and he believes that the United States should be reserved for white people and white people only. And so he responded to that by asking Drexel uh, or asking the student body at Drexel to invite him to the campus so he can speak, right? And so, look, I'm bringing this story up because. While Drexel didn't fire the professor for what he wrote, they did claim that his tweet was reprehensible. And that Ugh. makes that makes people like Richard Spencer and his goons believe that they're winning. Okay? So first of all, here's what the professor said uh, in regard to the reaction to the tweet. For those who haven't bothered to do their research, white genocide is an idea invented by white supremacists and used to denounce everything from interracial relationships to multicultural policies. It is a figment of the racist imagination and it should be mocked, and I'm glad to have mocked it. Now, I love him, and the reason why I love him is because he's strong, okay? He's not an apologist. He doesn't concede like most liberals do. You know, as soon as they get a little bit of criticism, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have mocked you, I shouldn't have mocked you. No, 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 mock them, that's what they deserve, right? By the way, the people, the same people who are running around crying and whining about the PC culture in America and how we don't have free speech anymore are now crying about a tweet that mocks them? Are you crying? Yeah. Are you triggered? <laughs> Not only that, it's actually much worse than that. Because let, let's, uh, first of all, are we having a real conversation in America about where, whether one of the people offended by this is the Daily Stormer? They're a neo Nazi website. They hate blacks, Jews, hate certainly everyone. Muslims, <laughs> it, it, Latinos, etc., right? They hate everybody who isn't. We're worried about offending their sensibilities? Is yeah. that the insane, politically correct place we've come to in America? Absolutely. And that Drexel is. Uh, administrators are having somebody apologize to Daily Goddamn Stormer? Are you insane? Okay. No, we're not going to apologize to those racist, anti semi bigots. And if you don't like that, go find yourself a safe space, Stormer head, okay? Or whatever the hell you guys think you're so tough yeah. uh, do. Okay, now, the white genocide issue. White people uh, that came to this country, it's a different time. It's not you. The people in this country now didn't do it. It was hundreds of years ago, okay? Did commit what is arguably a genocide against Native Americans, mm -hmm. right? So they drove them out of their lands, they killed so many of them, uh, disease, you name it, it happened to Native Americans, let alone what earlier folks did when, when the Spanish conquistadors came. And so it's not about a matter of race. I don't know what you want to call Spanish people, white or not white or Latino, whatever you want, I don't care. But what happened was a brutal elimination of the people that were not in not just in the United States of America as it is today, but also in the Caribbean islands. I mean, massacre after massacre. So it, clearly a genocide of what happened there. Christopher Columbus, your beloved Columbus, clearly did that, okay? So all that they don't have a problem with. Slavery, where we took millions of people, enslaved them, sold them, raped them, lynched them, hung them, etc. They don't have a problem with it. Okay? But when white people date black people, specifically white women dating black guys, that's, all of a sudden, that's white, genocide. white genocide. That's white genocide. white genocide. Now they don't even claim that any white people are being killed. They don't, no. To them, genocide is. I used to have all the privileges and I used to lord over you. And now I don't get to lord over you and now we're equal, like it says in the US Constitution. God damn it, I hate that. I'm going to call that a genocide. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You need a safe space in life because you can't compete with people. So you're like, oh, what if we could go back to the old days when I had unfair advantages? It's so hard to compete when it's fair. 
you know, now my now these girls who are forced to date me are not forced to date me anymore, and I can't get a date. You're so pathetic. Oh, but I used to be able to, you know, enslave other people and dominate them, and I yeah. didn't, had more rights. Now gay people have the same rights as me. <laughs> you are the weakest beta males in the world. Absolutely. I, you know, those phrases that members of the so-called alt-right like to use mm -hmm. are awesome. Like, I actually want to use them myself, right? Mm -hmm. Because these are the real cucks, right? Where you're, like, whining and crying about black men having sex with white women. That's... That's the definition of a cuck! That's literally what a fucking cuck is, okay? Yeah, you're like, oh, so, no, there you are. Oh, no, you're having sex with my girlfriend. Oh, my God, wait, that's kind of okay. hot. But okay, no, I'm against it. That's a white genocide. Let me keep watching, though. Okay, so I, I want to be clear about something, though. Uh, I, I think most rational people know that there isn't a white genocide. But with that said, I think that it's important for us to protect actual academic freedom, right? That's what I'm more concerned about with this story than anything else. Richard Spencer is no one, okay? Yes, he's getting a lot of attention because he feels emboldened to come out and say all these crazy things. But Drexel University coming out and refusing to stand by their professor and calling him reprehensible when his tweet was obviously meant to mock white supremacists is ridiculous, okay? I'm tired of college administrators and members of you know university staffs allowing themselves to get intimidated this easily. And you know why? It's because it's emboldening the same people that we're supposed to be against, right? And look, I'm not saying that I'm against their free speech, Right? If, if Richard Spencer wants to say the crazy things he wants to say, that's fine. But you don't go ahead and, and criticize and punish your professor for saying something that's accurate or mocking them the way that he did. Become a TYT member and get all of our shows, including the ones only members see, old school, aggressive, progressive, our post games, TYT classics, and you even get the interviews before anyone else does. TYTnetwork.com slash join.